Coming up next, we determine the best strawweight on the planet, a matchup for the UFC women's 115-pound title. So much depth now at 115 pounds, but they're all still chasing her. Yeah, they are. The undisputed UFC strawweight champion. And she's got the confidence that belies the champion. As you see her make this walk here tonight, she won the belt with flying colors, defended it with style points, and that's the same goal here tonight. She really is a fighter that maintains a calm demeanor, takes it fight by fight. She has aspirations to be the greatest of all time. She is well on her way. And now our tale of the tape for this strawweight championship fight. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Strawweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Presenting the challenger, John Magnum Wiley. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, six losses. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Irvine, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, Carla. for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, here we go. The UFC women's strawweight title is on the line. Zhang Wei Li with an entry here and able to connect on that one too. Beautifully done. I watched Wei Li hit that and I was amazed at the hand speed that she displayed in that short video clip. This is a fantastic striker, an unbelievable performer, and a great UFC champion. Came on inches right there, boys. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice strike. Just misses with a left hook there. And they separate. Nice kick. Oh, 
Superman punch. Well, she continues to leave that head open, and she paid for it there. She's on. Well, clearly, she wanted to get this fight to the ground to try to fatigue the striker early. Mission accomplished so far. Mission accomplished. Even her team couldn't have imagined that it would work so early in the fight. Great timing on that takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground changes, and she's doing a fantastic job of building scramble, posture scramble. to try to land that kill shot from the top. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that grounding pump. Money in the bank. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. Oh, pretty good job there posturing up and landing with the ground and pound. She has been very efficient in this situation tonight. Very efficient and very accurate. Hats off to her. Well, her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing him over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Looks like she's trying to set up a submission now. Attack an armbar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. Submission. Clearly, she had an opening and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going. Yes, yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. So, ladies and gentlemen, there she is as the celebration continues for the UFC Women's Strawweight Champion. Getting it done with style points here tonight. She is your champion and your winner by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 26 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And new undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, John McAuliffe. There is a new strawweight queen, and you are looking at her 100.